What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Matt Gifted Hands back to you with another haircut tutorial. Sorry, it has been a while. It's been over two weeks, but let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. My client right here has not had a haircut in over two years. He started growing his hair out whenever we had the lockdown. Um, he figured, you know, hey, I've always wanted to grow my hair out. So he did it for two years. However, he wants a new transformation, a shortcut on the sides. And what we're gonna do is we section off the hair where he wanted to part it at. We are gonna put a hard line where that natural part is after we're pretty much done with the haircut. But first what I wanted to do was take the number two guard and go ahead and just knock off all the hair leading up to that part. Because this is going to be an undercut. This is a style that he likes, this is what he chose. And I think it looks fly. With the long hair on top, he's able to you know put it in like a pompadour style brush it back and a nice blend on the sides so basically what i did was i started my first initial guideline with my trimmer and then i did use a shaver on the bottom just to get a closer contrast to the scalp and then i started with the lever all the way open to create my next my next guideline now i have it in the middle to work that bottom line out and then you're just going to close the lever all the way and that'll remove that whole panel right there. So you started with the lever all the way open, you put it in the middle and then you close it. With this type of clipper right here, the Babyliss Low Pros, I'm sorry. Um, they have a lot of those little notches on the side so you can, you know, like you'll hear it go down in certain levels. So starting with the lever all the way open. You notch it down maybe two times, that's the middle, and then two more times, that's all the way closed. So same same steps. So knowing that that's the number two on top, right around the parietal ridge, we're doing the one all the way open for our next guideline, and then whatever the one and a half leaves behind, we're gonna clean that up with the half guard. So the one and a half, right, you, you create your next uh, section, about I, I would say about an inch because we have a lot of room to blend then this is the one and a half guard lever all the way open and that's going to blend right into that too as we close that lever i would say this is a mid to high ball fade still going to have some nice contrast from the bottom to the top this is still the one and a half guard and i feel like there's still some in between contrast with the one and a half guard and the one guard so whatever the one and a half guard did not remove i take my one guard all the way open the lever all the way open and that'll basically blend whatever the one and a half didn't get so and then what I like to do is I'll just work my way back down to the bottom. And then that, that last panel is the half guard. And this is going to bring the blend together. All right, y'all, so what you do to one side, you're gonna do to the other. Again, this is the undercut, so it's basically parted on the same side, same area as the other side. And um, you definitely wanna wet the hair to get its full flexibility, and it's easier to part 
two when you wet the hair. So same same steps. Part the hair out, out of the way, and then take the number two guard and just go all the way up. Feed that comb, that hair into the into the guard. That comb trick where you keep the hair combed into the guard, it's a lot easier than just cutting straight up. So yeah guys, being that it is a mid to high blend, we are giving ourselves, I would say one and a half inches to almost two inches per guideline. And again, that's just helping me stretch my blend, have some nice gradiency, light, medium to dark, and making sure that I give the client what he asked for. You're gonna do the same exact steps as he did to the other side. So just go ahead and enjoy this beat. And if y'all are interested in the beat, make sure you hit that link in the description below. And yes, guys, we are still busy with the nonprofit organization. We are uh, still cutting hair in the shelters. Um, sometimes it's it's a little more difficult for us to record anything. Um, but just know that we're still working, we're working on some other things on the back end as well. Um, but yeah, I, I truly appreciate the c continued support, the love, the subscribers and new subscribers. And if you are new to this channel and this is your first time watching my video, Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, guys. It helps the channel grow. Thank you so much for over 170,000 subscribers. It's been a long journey, a great journey. And, I, uh, you know, y'all are my second family. So I truly appreciate it. Make sure you check out the nonprofit organization in the link in the description below. We, uh, we take care of our city of Tampa as much as we can. We help out the less fortunate and a uh, group of guys by the names of Apex, AB, BP, Chris, Miguel. Man, I can't thank y'all enough, man. A group of guys, barbers out in the Plant City, Florida area. And we, we all, you know, cut hair for the less fortunate and do our part. Help out with any kind of donations, food, or any resources that we can um, to the Tampa community. So check out, the, uh, check out our nonprofit organization. We would really appreciate it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and trim the top up a little bit. My client does want to keep most of his hair. He, he wants that front piece to act, actually comb to the back into where he can style it into like a V cut towards the back. So we're gonna leave the front quite long and then we're gonna go ahead and taper it towards the back. And this may not be the textbook way to cut the top of the hair, but it's something that works for me. There's a thousand ways to draw a picture. And um, I'm just showing y'all and teaching y'all the way that worked for me, making sure my sections and partings are all the way proportionate, all the way towards the back. Again, we're tapering to a shorter cut in the back. All right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm seeing if there's anything overhanging or overlapping. Uh, also, I wanna make sure I have like a nice textured look in the back with some slight bit of uh, layers. Point cut in the back. 
But look at that blend on the sides, guys. Came out clean. It's been two years since he had a haircut. I can only imagine this feeling. Two years. And he is gonna donate his hair. I did not get the honor <laughs> or the privilege to cut his hair off the, the, the ponytail. He had like another 10 inches that he cut off of his top of his head. And he did it at home. He felt that it would be too much work. <laughs> but it's all good, man. It's all good, JV. I appreciate it. That saved me a little bit of time. and But either way, that was probably the best part. <laughs> But he is donating his hair, so that'll be dope. All right, guys. So this is pretty much the end product. We went ahead and lined them up in the front. We're styling the top, applying some product, blow drying it, adding some nice volume. I think this haircut came out fire. That blend is insane. That contrast is dope. Blurry. Blurry. My boy JV is back in the game. This is a styling product that I'm using in my suite right now. It is by Uplift Provisions. Look them up on Instagram. Dope, dope company, dope product. This is their styling compound. This is their signature pomade. It is more of a shine finish. Um, but look at that, guys. It looks fire. Hopefully, he, and he liked the haircut, which I know he did because he was feeling himself when he left the shop. <laughs> Hopefully y'all enjoyed this haircut tutorial and learned something from it. And as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted. Brought him back to life.